Hey everybody, what's going on? So we got some uh, interesting news here. So I was just looking through you know Twitter a little bit earlier today, and Pierre Polyev made a post here saying you know defund the CBC. Now he's been talking for, about that for quite a while. So I was curious, well, why all of a sudden is he talking about this now? Like, did, did something happen? Something happened, all right. And not, it's not just the fake news and all their propaganda garbage either. It's uh, something about their bonuses. It says here that CBC paid out $18.4 million in bonuses after hundreds of jobs were cut. Brian Lilly goes into a little bit more detail on this, where he says the average bonus for people in the executive suite at CBC last year was more than the average wage of the Canadians who, say bill, who pay the bills for the CBC. The bonuses at the state broadcaster are obscene given the state of the state broadcaster. Right, considering no one watches them and everyone knows they're not news. So there's this article here from Brian Lilly. I'm not going to go over the whole thing, just the first part of it here, just to kind of explain. So it says the average working Canadian goes to work five days a week, puts in an honest day's work, and brings home roughly $65,000 per year. And that's before taxes, by the way. For CBC's executive suite, they would consider that a bad bonus. We've known for months now that close to 1,200 of CBC's top management employees were going to be getting bonuses. The only question was how much. Now that the numbers are out, it is truly obscene given the state of the state broadcaster. For the last fiscal year, which ended in March, CBC split $18.4 million between just under 1,200 employees. That's a 23% increase over the $14.9 million on bonuses handed out the previous year. So our money that funds the CBC is also going to pay these executives who aren't doing a very good job a very, very large bonus. After they cut jobs, they, they didn't have the money to employ all these people, but they sure as hell have the money to give themselves bonuses. Isn't that nice? And for any of you after this who's, who hears this and you decide to turn on the CBC to get your news, you need to give your head a shake. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable how just corrupt we allow corporations to be, especially when it's considering when it's coming from our tax money. Because that's who funds the CBC. We pay them to feed us propaganda. Isn't that nice? It's unbelievable. You know, so again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think that they should be giving themselves bonuses with our money? I have a feeling that the answer to that question is going to be no, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I also just wanted to talk about something here really quickly. So there's this lady on YouTube. Her name's Jasmine Lane. She does a very good job covering Canadian uh, political issues. And what she's got to say here is really, really disturbing. So let me just play this. It's just a quick little short, and then we'll talk about it like, like usual. I just read this stat that in 2011, the average Canadian was about 4% richer than the average American. Flash forward 11 years to 2022, and the average American was 40% richer than the average Canadian, and that number continues to climb. I just read this stat that in... What? Did you guys hear that correctly? We used to be 4% richer than the average American. The average American is now 40% more wealthy than we are. And that happened roughly in the last 10 years. What happened in the last 10 years? Oh, that's right. We voted in a moron who would rather take our money and give bonuses to people who don't deserve it instead of making sure that Canadians have good paychecks and are building wealth. He doesn't care about that. Clearly. 40% richer the Americans are. You know, I've, whole, I've heard my whole life from Americans, well, Canadians are dumb and you guys are a bunch of, you got a bunch of wimps. For the vote, for the ones who voted for Trudeau, especially when you still continue to support Trudeau, I'll forgive you if you voted for him in the first two times, because that's before shit really hit the fan. But ever since 2021, that election and this upcoming election, if you voted for Trudeau, you voted for Americans being 40% richer on average than we are. 40%. We used to be slightly ahead. Now we're way behind. And this has happened. Just another thing that is horrific news if you're a Canadian citizen. And it's all happened under Trudeau. Forget all the other issues. Now here's something else. Forget the 11 MPs that are treasonous. 
and all of a sudden that's not being talked about anymore. I wonder why. Trudeau has the power to just declassify the documents or let us know who it was, which we deserve to know, considering our employees committed treason. Not our bosses, our employees. And we still have no idea who they are. Well, we have some idea who they are, but we don't know yet for sure. And we don't know if there's more than 11. So all the scandals, all the nonsense, all the ridiculous financial situations has led us to all this crime, unaffordable housing markets, and now Americans are 40% more wealthier than the average Canadian. If you still support Trudeau after all this, like, what, like just, just let me know in the comment section what you think. What, what would it take for you to stop supporting this guy? Is there anything? Because a lot of people will criticize, you know, like MAGA supporters, MAGA Republicans. Oh, Trump could do anything he wants and they would still vote for him. I, I have a feeling that Trudeau supporters feel the same way. He could do anything he wanted, right? And you'd still vote for him because Pierre Paul Yev's mean and he hurts my feelings. How after scandal after scandal and just terrible policy after terrible policy, tax after tax, and now we're poor in a first world country, you're still going to vote for Trudeau? Yeah, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. And um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. And I'll be back very shortly with a new video.